everyone, this is Mass Live reporter Melissa Hansen. I'm here live in Worcester, right off Shrewsbury Street, and we're going to take a tour of Redemption Rock Brewing Co. This is going to be the city's fifth brewery, and they are planning to have a big grand opening celebration on Saturday, so I thought I'd give you a look inside. So we're here with Danny and Greg. Hi. Hello. So, tell us a little bit about Redemption Rock. Sure. So, um, basically, we're a 10-barrel brew house um, with kind of a focus on a variety of different beers. Um, and a big taproom focus. As you can see, this has been a big project for us, um, besides building out the actual brewery and getting beer made, getting the taproom. Um, really designed to be something that would be really comfortable in a place that we want like, people to feel like they want to come and spend their whole day. Um, and then we also have a coffee program as well, so you can do that. You can start off uh, your day with the coffee and doing some work and then transition into beer and having some fun. Um, so yeah, we started off with making sure we wanted to have a nice comfy tap room and added, ended up infusing it with a lot of art and uh, this really cool old uh, building that was originally a Coca-Cola bottling facility. Yeah, so this tap room here definitely has a bit of a cafe feel. Mm -hmm. It's very polished, you've got a lot of bright colors. And then some uh, seating and decorations that you said you got from Brimfield, right? Yeah, we did. We hit up, uh, I went um, in May, I think, and we got some Brimfield stuff, um, coffee table and the puffs, and actually one of these farmhouse tables is from Brimfield. And then we got a good amount of stuff too that we ended up picking up at uh, Crompton Collective. Basically now anytime that we need like furniture, like our water table, we're like, let's just go over to Crompton and see what they have right now. Gotcha. Uh, so a lot of our furniture over here in the corner is also from there. So that's kind of our like local, local Broomfield option. Yeah, keeping it within Worcester yeah, County exactly. and within the city. Awesome. Yeah. So let's go check out the bar. Cool. So as a uh, disclaimer, our finished bar top is actually not done yet. Okay. So it's gonna be a concrete bar top um, that they're delivering this week and installing. Um, and we had actually, uh, this is the old cover spec uh, bar top. Oh. That um, our head of marketing, Dan, his wife, bought off of those guys um, and actually our merch table over here is from Kim Respect as well All right. um, and so she bought this to make a dining room table for their house mm -hmm. um, and when our bar top was not done yet we decided to use this temporarily so gotcha yeah. all right yeah. hopefully by this uh, weekend we'll have a little bit of a little yeah, yeah. <laughs> So there's some nice copper detailing back here. Yup, so we went with copper as our primary like metal accent uh, between some of the light fixtures. Um, it actually worked out really well with, uh, we have you know, we ended up having to put a grease trap in, so we had a copper pipe coming off of that, so it kind oh, of yeah, look the at that. the decor. Um, it's okay. funny, a lot of stuff we actually purchased a long time ago too, because we've been in plans, so the, our awesome copper backsplash that was custom made I bought that probably two years ago off an artist on mm -hmm. Etsy, so we had that in storage for a while. Same with our tap handles, we're all custom made concrete uh, with some blue epoxy in there. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So tell us about the beers that you're going to have on tap during your grand opening on Saturday. Oh, oh yeah. So yeah, we have, uh, we're going to be starting with four. We're going to have a uh, Golden Ale, a, an IPA, a Dry Stout, and a Hefeweizen. Um, yeah, the, uh, the Golden Ale was actually the first beer that, that we brewed. I, Kind of to design it as something uh, simple that would really kind of show me the output of the uh, system as I'm kind of testing out for the uh, uh, first time, as well as have like a white beer, op beer option for people that kind of just come here and want to know what the what, uh, whitest beer, beer was. Something comparable to maybe a Bud Light or something. Exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. basically the, the, uh, a Bud Light people. Because we want to actually be you know, very accessible to the people that aren't huge craft beer, beer, beer nuts. People that aren't going to be uh, lining up for barrel aged stout and IPAs. We want to be accessible to, to everyone, including people that just aren't super into craft beer or new to, to craft beer. I want to have beers that are going to be uh, uh, fun for them to, 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 to drink too. Uh, long term, my plan is for that to, 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 to be a coach. But I, I didn't want to do our coach up really to be our first beer because I wasn't used to the system yet. Mm -hmm. So I wanted this coach. I obviously have like very specific uh, expectations for what I want it to look like and, and, and taste like. So I kind of did this as a like, like a standard. Great. And with your coffee program too, you'll have an option for people who maybe don't like beer, or you know, for someone who doesn't um, drink alcoholic beverages, they can still come with their friends and you know, be able to enjoy something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. This is kind of uh, something else we maybe can do to provide people that would just want to like come here because we we are focused a lot on just the space and all the tap uh, uh, as a place to like hang out. Mm -hmm. And if people want to come here but aren't necessarily in the mood to be uh, drinking beer. Coffee is a great, uh, just a great reason for people to uh, uh, come down. Sure, especially with uh, Worcester's college population. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Lots of entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, 
I've worked out of my apartment for basically the last year and sometimes it's just you need to get out of the house mm -hmm. and go sit somewhere else and do some work. Yeah, so you're opening on Saturdays from noon to 10, right? Yep. What are your regular hours of operation going to be? It's going to be 10 to 10, okay. um, basically Wednesday through Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, so if people can come in in the morning, um, we may push that out a little bit on either end longer term, but for now we want to see kind of how the coffee program goes and if people are really liking it and want to come out, come in a little earlier, we might push that earlier. But for now, yep, 10 to 10. Um, so you can come and get a coffee, you hang out all day, and then transition to beer. Yeah. yeah, and it's bring your own food, right? It's bring your own food. We're also going to be doing different collaborations and pop-ups with uh, with pop-ups and food trucks. So this Saturday, Asylum Popovers is going to be coming in and doing a dinner-style popover. Okay. Um, we would speak, they're coming in tomorrow night to bring some samples, so I'm we're going to be figuring out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, very excited. Um, so yeah, but in addition to that, you can bring your own food, and then we will be having some stuff ourselves as far as snacky stuff. Um, we've just been concentrating on the tap room done, but we'll be adding food in soon. Great. Let's go check, check out the mural in yeah, the other room. Yeah. And how many square feet is this space? So this is, so the whole space, uh, the whole space that we have is 6,200 square feet. So this is roughly half of it. Okay. Half room. So it's a, a little over 3,000 square feet, including that. All right. Yeah, so this is another thing too, our windows are getting replaced. Hopefully this week, maybe next. Gotcha. They, they may look like this, yeah. they may look nicer on Saturday. All right. Hopefully it won't be like negative 60 degrees when they have to take the Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No one's loving this weather. <laughs> I'm not unless you present what I'm going to do from home that day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is a really unique space right yeah. here. Tell us a little bit about this mural and the Pow Wow Worcester connection. Yeah, so we had, um, we have always thought about it would be really cool to do a mural in Worcester. And then when we found out about Pow Wow, I was like, oh, that's really cool that we definitely need to do that. And so when we got this space, we had reached out to Che Anderson um, with Pow Wow Worcester. And basically he put together um, different portfolio pages of artists um, and we just chose the one that we liked the best. Um, and then it was funny because it turned out that so Marka 27 was the artist that ultimately did it. And he did one of my favorite murals from Pow Wow, which is the one of the three women across from the Hanover Theater mm -hmm. in the parking garage. Um, which is, I think it's his mom, his wife, and his daughter. Oh, the interesting. For it. And um, yeah, so we ended up really loving his work. He came in, he did this all in two days, um, basically almost full 48 hours on a weekend. Um, and yeah, it came out absolutely stunning. We basically just told him, you know, this is our brand, this is kind of who we are and some of our color schemes and just let him, he ran with it. And uh, we basically had no notes after he did the mock-up, and then it just absolutely came up spectacular. Nice. It's funny. It's one of the first things that we had uh, uh, done in here. So like, this has been up since like the May. Yeah, the other May, yeah, since since the entire summer, and we've had this uh, just all this kind of construction work and done here. It's been like a filthy, like just a, a disaster. <laughs> it's for the construction <laughs> site. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, contrasting like that with you know an absolutely stunning uh, uh, piece of art has been kind of uh, fun. Yeah. 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 But yeah, no, it's exciting to have it like done now, especially the last thing we did in here was roll out the turf. Mm -hmm. And we still have to kind of clean it up a little bit and kind of stretch it out. Um, but yeah, as soon as we did that, it felt made this room feel like what we intended it to be, which was really a space that feels like, you know, an outdoor, outdoor patio space um, with some nice comfy grass. And we're going to add some more games and cornhole and stuff. Yeah, to bringing the outdoors indoors. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And this is where we'll be setting up too. We're going to have uh, Joy Rochelle Marietta is performing on Saturday. We want to make live music a regular thing. So that'll be kind of in that area over there, move around the picnic tables a little bit. Great. Performances. Yeah. And uh, having the nice uh, green turf in here mm -hmm. yeah. is nice on a on very a cold. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice contrast. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. definitely. Great. Yeah. All right, so for anyone who just joined, we're checking out Redemption Rock, and they are opening on Saturday. So mm -hmm. any notes that you want our viewers to know about your brewery or anything else? Um, oh, the other thing just on Saturday, too, that we're going to be doing that we haven't added yet is we're going to be doing a live screen printing thing. So we're going to have mm -hmm. an artist coming in. We have an illustration that our, our graphic designer did um, so people will be able to buy posters and see them actually made. So that'll be another fun thing that's on Saturday. Um, but yeah, no, we would be pretty much all day Saturday, 12 to 10, so people can come out um, and, you know, not feel rushed, but come out whenever you have time on Saturday. Great. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in, and check out MassLive.com later for more photos of the space. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.